I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's a site where I have curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read. It's going to help you find work more quickly. So I thought I would do a show today that talks about final interviews and explains to you the two basic tactics employers use that kind of trap you, trick you, fool you into opening up and um, causing yourself to be rejected. They're really very simple. And it came from a conversation I had recently with someone who's up for a CMO role, a chief marketing officer role with an organization. He's been involved with a number of interviews, both in person and by video. And he's gonna have his final video interview today. I don't wanna lay out the title of the individual. Trust me when I say it's a significant player in the organization. So what would this person, how would this person approach him in order to figure out whether or not he can play with the big boys and big girls in their organizations? Two basic approaches I could see them taking. Number one, friendly guy. Oh, easy going guy. I'm your pal. I'm your bud. We are good friends. Now, this happens to be a he who's doing the interview, but I can see you know, a woman executive doing this very easily as well. And although the examples I gave were male oriented, there's a female version of this as well, where they are friendly. You know, you can tell me the truth. You know, it's kind of like good mom kind of role where they encourage you to open up and thus uh, expose goofy things that you think or believe that would cause them to ask themselves, huh? Really? Now, from a tactical standpoint, I always tell people, even though you're in a final interview, your goal is to never, ever believe that this is a formality. So in recognizing the signals of this tactic and the next one I'm going to lay out, you always just want to remind yourself, I'm still being evaluated and assessed. I don't have a job offer and I still am selling myself. And part of the sales thing with the friendly person approach is to understand that they're trying to get you to open up and reveal intimate details of your life that would cause them to question your sanity, question your performance in situations. And thus, you still stick with all the stories you've told them up until this point and hopefully have arrived with a new one that you can plunk out from your you know, um, pocket or purse and very simply say, you know, that reminds me of something. And with a smile on your face, a real friendly presentation, you know, tell a, a good story about your successes, following the model of explaining the situation that you stepped, in, stepped into, the objective that you had, the action that you took, and the result that you got. Some people prefer a STAR acronym. I prefer this SOAR acronym, S-O-A-R, Situation, Objective, Action, Result. So with the friendly one, you arrive with the big friendly smile on your face. And you are just very calm and friendly and collected. Nothing is going to disturb you, but in the back of your mind, you know this is one of the traps that they're laying for you. Now, the other personality style is the exact opposite. It's the tough, you know, uh, difficult, uncomfortable interview where they say things like, I don't understand. And they start talking very abruptly and they cut you off. And the goal is to see if they can break you. Now, we've all been in situations like this before. But if that's what you're presented with, you have to kind of pause for a second when they say, I understand. You know, I know in the back of your mind, you want to say, you know, my four-year-old could understand this, but that isn't going to help you here. So the way I'd like you to respond when they go, I understand this. You know, uh, why would you want to ever do something like this? You know, and, and they're really trying to dissect you and crush you. You want to very calmly with no smile, but very serious demeanor said, 
I want to kind of dissect what I did. And at any point that you find this difficult to follow, just let me, or difficult to understand, just stop me at that point and I'll go through my evaluation. Is that okay? No, 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 just tell me what it is. I think it might be useful if we go through a process where I just lay it out. and No, no, just tell me what it is. Well, I, I did that just now. And you notice how there's no you know, disturbance in the manner. What you want to do is present yourself as being calm in these situations. And you never want to appear like they've broken your spirit. You just want to lay it out because obviously in many organizations, there's the easygoing people or there are the easygoing people and then the more difficult ones. And this one is designed to either because this is how they are or because this is how they're going to represent that possibility within their organization. So recognize the two approaches that are most likely to have, particularly if you're a senior professional. I want to repeat that, particularly if you're a senior professional. Now, I know for many folks, this happens when you're at a more junior level. But certainly with, as I was talking about with this person, you know, he's going for a C-level position. They're going to do one of these two things with him. Just be alert to it and recognize the possibility. So that's my video for today. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I just want to encourage you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw this. I love to know that I've been helpful to people enough to reach out and connect with me. So again, that's linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. I do coaching professionally. I don't do recruiting any longer. So if you're interested in my coaching, you visit my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. There's information in the tabs on the top about how to hire me for coaching. So again, that's LinkedIn. I'm sorry, it's thebiggamehunter.us. Choose the service that you're interested in, including resume and LinkedIn profile critiques, coaching you throughout your entire process, preparing you for interviews, you know, coaching you through a salary negotiation, helping you with a resignation, answering your questions. There's a lot that I'll be able to help you with. So again, thebiggamehunter.us. Hope you found this helpful and hope you have a great day. Take care.